Hey guys, okay, I'm back. I'm doing some, and now I'm going to be working on the GUI. So, first thing you want to do is go to container and open up inventory. When you are in inventory, basically, you see these gray boxes? Just click one, then just shift click all of them. So, I'll just click all of them really quickly. Then go into edit and then select cut. Make sure to delete all those boxes. Select none. Um, file open as layers. Uh, find whatever you want your background to be. So, yeah, I'll get that. I'll be right back. My mistake. You also probably want to um cut this out as well. Okay, I'm back. I just uh imported. Uh, an HD wallpaper I found off the internet. Um, one second. I imported an HD wallpaper and then cut off all the excess area that was like sticking out over there. So that's done for now. I'm just gonna export that inventory. Just replace it. Export and okay, we can close that now. Next thing you want to do is open it. Uh, go back to your GUI folder uh, right in here. I think it's it's either icons or widgets you want to look at. Um, oh, icons is good to look at anyway. It'll let you change the color on your on the hearts or whatever else you want to change the color on or actually chain like this is where hearts and armor and water bars and this is the big important thing with this the um god I cannot speak crosshair yeah this so what should the crosshair be uh I'll be right back okay I finished remaking the crosshair and I added a more raggedy feeling to the um, half heart. Let's export this. Um, set it into the texture pack as well. And um, with the new inventory, I'll show you that as well, how it looks in game. So, uh, I need survival inventory. <sighs> yeah, that is the um, crosshair, if you can see it in the center right there. And then, um, yeah, I'm going to have to switch to surround mode for this. You can see the hearts are blue. Look at that inventory. Wow, that's so good. That's, that's actually really nice. Um, yeah, um, kind of adds niceness. Either rate, um, this is... Probably, oh no, 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 I have to do widgets still. So, yeah, that's what we've got so far. The nice inventory, um, and the hearts, and the cross, new crosshair. So, yeah, I'm going to open up widgets now, I'll be right back. So, this is just, uh, widgets, it's not super complicated. Um, these are the bars here. This is the languages option. This is the hot bar. This is the selecting. Let's select it. There's a bunch of random stuff. I'm not completely sure what it does. But yeah, let's just speed up working on the hot bar for a little while.
Okay, that was pretty simple. I pasted a blue white gradient here in the um, button and like a rainbow gradient in the selected button. I changed the round of the square around the item you're using to a green arrow and I put numbers in the inventory slots. So let's export this and see how it looks in game. Okay, you can already see the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, the green arrow. And what, oh crap, in survival mode. <laughs> One second. Um, you can see the green arrow there instead of the square. You can see the numbers and the slots, obviously. And then you can also see if you escape. Blue buttons, change the rainbow when you hover over them. So, that's pretty nice. Uh, yeah, I think that's the end of the episode. You can do all the other DUI containers if you want. It's not super essential for PvP though, because all, all you're really going to be using is um, you, the normal inventory. Unless you do an annihilation, then you might want to work in the brewing inventory a little bit. Uh, in one of my last texture packs, I had um, blue brewing recipes in the inventory, but that's not super necessary. I mean, especially if you know the recipes like by heart already. Um, either way, thanks for watching. Uh, this was applesauce. Yeah. Uh, I'm probably this is done. Um, this is the last episode in the series. So, I uh, will be releasing this texture pack through Mediafire. Um, yeah, I'll probably put the download link either in this video or make a separate video for it. I'll probably put it in this video. Uh, yeah, see you later. I'm rambling. Hey guys, what's up? Applesauce here, and I'm just saying, at the end of the video, um, I did not know how to use hue saturation at the time. So, um, I'm just going to show you a basic how to do that, um, so, I'm, I don't even know what I'm, okay, Splash Potion, no, that's black, that's not going to work, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'll just open something random, Pumpkin Pie, Pumpkin Pie is good, so, um, you want to go to Colors, click Hue Saturation, right here, you can select whatever color you want to change or master because I'm selecting master and voila the pumpkin will change color so you can also like make it brighter or darker or make it super saturated or like gray scale or like depressed little depressed blue pumpkin pie <laughs> um but yeah that's just a quick tutorial on this Another thing I want to say is this these recordings are about two or three months old, so I did not have my good uh, new awesome computer, and I also did not have my new awesome headset, so that's why the um, quality is probably not as good. And then, um, like, everything seems bigger than it usually is. But yeah, thanks for watching the video. See you guys later.